a big what's up there everybody welcome back to the channel this is going to be a quick video discussing what i believe the sisters should do during the 2021 nba draft i do apologize for being inconsistent with the content lately i have been traveling the country all summer and boston was my latest victim last weekend actually i'm reporting live from atlantic city as we speak legit on the atlantic city beach so that, that just gives you an idea of what i've been doing for the last few weeks but anyway i was up boston i'm there with my man's mike we got to catch a Sox game walked around boston's historic district and relived our undergrad glory days with that being said i do owe y'all a ben simmons discussion video very soon and best believe it is on the way i've had the audio recorded for a minute but i don't know it just wasn't really hitting the way that i thought it should be on the lookout for that joint and it shall be coming out this sunday boys finna get back on track like we always do dropping videos on sunday sub a brother up for more unique sisters content because you know what we do here we are almost at 1k subs Without further ado, let's get to the video. As the recording of this video, the Sixers own the 28th pick in this year's 2021 NBA Draft. And I'm going to get straight to the point. The Sixers need to trade away that pick for win now value. Now, whether that is trading it away for a current role player or trading back for multiple seconds or even picking up a G League prospect in the second round for more assets to later be used in a trade or just to keep in the farm. The Sixers cannot afford to add a rookie to a win now championship squad in my opinion. Honestly, what does that do or what does that bring to the squad other than more inexperience? Let's play devil's advocate for just a second and assume we will want to draft the player at 28. What do we need as a team overall? Off the dribble guards who can get their own bucket, 3D wings who can you know shoot threes as well as defend at a high level, and a mobile stretch five to back up Joel Embiid and help Ben if he does indeed stay on the Sixers. Now first off, we already have three bench guards in George Hill, Shake Milton, and second year fan favorite Tyrese Maxey. So whose spot would this potential 28th pick take? In terms of picking a wing or a stretch five at that spot, are we really going to be hedging our bets on a rookie that will be given important minutes at that position? Because we all know that is inevitably going to happen. It will happen this year with Tyrese. At this point with the context of this season and how we really do need to ramp up our production and actually win now, using this 28 pick for a draftee that we are going to plug in is just too risky. We should be coveting veterans who have been in these positions before to plug in these holes. After last year's debacle, putting a rookie in that position just doesn't bode well for us in the future. Now, I must admit that I'm not that big into drafts ever since the 76ers got good, but a young boy Yin was an NBA guru back in the day, but those days are long gone. Most NBA mock drafts have us drafting the Sean Highland, point guard from Virginia Commonwealth University. With our pick, CBS Sports explains him as a pure scorer who started rising up draft boards following an excellent combine performance. So this boy is a late bloomer. He's extremely confident with tremendous range off the dribble, something that the Sixers obviously need, and has shown the ability to hit clutch shots, also a thing that the Sixers need. His offensive game, particularly his playmaking, needs some fine tuning, but he has the ability to provide bench scoring right away for the 76ers while also possessing potential for the future. Other than Nashawn, the interwebs have been giving out other scoring first point guards that the Sixers can select. Now, I don't really know who this man is. I can't tell you if he's, you know, the real deal. But all things being considered equal, I'm a pass and hope to God we get a veteran presence. Like, come on. Dang. This year's class is looking a little iffy in my opinion, but congratulations to the top pickers. Either way, if we do end up picking 28th, I have the utmost faith in Daryl Morey and Elson Brand's draft scouting. Between the two, since 2007, they have taken Nick Batum, Patrick Peterson, Marcus Morris, Nikola Miritich, Clint Capella, Montrez Harrell, Matisse Thybul, and Tyrese Maxey, as well as even drafted lesser known boys who still had you know, good careers and were contributors. Jeremy Lamb, Aaron Brooks, Chase, Buttinger, and even fan favorite from the process, Isaiah Cannon. Which is not bad at all if you really think about it. Look, I know we love to curse out our Sixers, but they have had success during drafts historically at least more times than not. I do not expect a big trade for the Sixers to happen come draft night, um, just mainly because the timing doesn't seem right. No other superstar has really given the green light 
for their team to trade them or requested a trade. And I highly doubt that the Sixers that, that the Sixers are just going to trade away then for some BS pieces. So we will be on the lookout for that. But yeah, if I'm the Philadelphia 76ers, I am trading this year's 28th overall pick for a current player or future assets that can be used for a trade to help us win now. Not later, not after, you know, Magnum P.I., as that joint in Family Guy said, now, this year. Why? Because the 76ers accelerated the process when we traded for Jimmy Butler, so now we gotta go for the whole kit and caboodle. But we will talk about that in a later video. I want to thank everybody for pulling up and listening to a brother think like comment share and subscribe with a sixers fiend <laughs> admittedly a almost former sixer fiend if you feel so inclined let me know what you think about this year's draft down below in the comment section what would you do with our 28th pick this year as always them bulls are mad because the process worked my name is kyan and i will see you next time peace